moment he stepped to the podium. In the name of God, the compassionate, the merciful. Mahmoud Ahmadinejad's speech at the United Nations at times sounded like a call to religious piety. The only path to remain safe is to return to monotheism and believing in the oneness of God. Whatever you think of him, this 53-year-old president of Iran is a deeply religious man. The belief in the one God has been replaced with selfishness. Man has taken the place of God. To understand his religious convictions, you have to go to a mosque in the small village of Jamkaran, tucked in a corner of Iran. Behind this mosque, there is a well. And according to Ahmadinejad and millions of Shiite Muslims, out of this well will emerge one day their version of an Islamic savior. They call him the Mahdi or the 12th Imam. Ron Contrell has written a book about the Mahdi. The 12th Imam is expected to come on the scene by Islam as a, a Messiah figure. He's slotted to come in the end of time, according to their writings, very much like uh, how we think of the, the return of Jesus. Tens of thousands of Muslims visit the sacred well each night. The opening of the well is covered by a green-like metal box to prevent people from jumping in. Most of the time here is spent praying and kissing the metal box. Others scribble prayer requests to the Mahdi on pieces of paper that are then dropped into the well. This day belongs to the Mahdi, and I have come to share my heart with him. Many, like this young boy with a flashlight, believe the Mahdi is actually hiding at the bottom of the well, reading those prayer requests. I was looking into the well with my flashlight, hoping to see the Mahdi, but not tonight. Contrell says the Mahdi, a descendant of the Prophet Muhammad, vanished in the middle of the 9th century. With a promise that he would bring Islam to its total fruition as the world's last standing religion. Enter Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. Since becoming the president of Iran back in 2005, Ahmadinejad has emerged as the Mahdi's most influential follower. In almost all his speeches, whether at home in Iran or traveling abroad, the president begs Allah to hasten the return of the Mahdi. O oh God, hasten the arrival of Imam Mahdi and grant him good health and victory and make us his followers. Ahmadinejad is reportedly tied to a radical Islamic society in Iran that believes man can hasten the appearance of the Mahdi by creating chaos in the world. Ahmadinejad has stated that this chaos must take place before the Mahdi can come on the scene. Shiite eschatology says the Mahdi's second coming will be marked by apocalyptic times. Wars, famines and floods will ravage the earth followed by judgment day and a battle between good and evil. There's also the belief that when the Mahdi comes back, he will be accompanied by Jesus Christ. This will all come true under the rule of the perfect man, the last divine source on earth, the Mahdi, who will re-emerge, and Jesus Christ and the other noble men will accompany him. But until that day comes, Ahmadinejad, who sees himself as a kind of John the Baptist figure, is telling the world to prepare. George Thomas, CBN News. Dory Gold. In his new book, The Rise of Nuclear Iran, How Tehran Defies the West, Gold says the threat of Iran is closer and more dangerous than many believe. Gold points out Iran's president has not only promised to wipe Israel off the map, but looks forward to a future world without the United States. He also shows how Iran is motivated by a religious zeal and ideology that many in the West fail to understand or appreciate. Iran's president and Ram's messiah with the help of a nuclear weapon. Gold calls... But he is also helping... Uh, Iranian proselytizers come to his country and convert Indian tribes, particularly in the Colombian border, to Shiite Islam. Now, the Iranian interest in this is to create a kind of nest or sanctuary for its organizations in the future. In your news reports just in the last 24 hours, speculating about the Arctic Sea, uh, the Russian freighter that mysteriously disappeared in the English Channel, 
and then was found off the coast of Africa. And there was a mission from President Perez to Moscow the, the day after it was found. And uh, lots of discussions about Israel making it clear to Russia that Russia trying to supply Iran with miss missiles uh, was unacceptable. Is, is that another player in this game? Is, is Russia really trying to uh, aid Iran in its quest for missile technology? Well, the hard to see is that was medium-range missiles uh, that would be able to hit Europe. Um, and, and you start talking about a nuclear-armed Iran with the ability to deliver uh, to a European city, you are talking about a nightmare scenario. Uh, and so this isn't just... Uh